Hey guys, so I want to take a second and talk about O embeds in WordPress, uh, specifically the changes that are happening with O embeds in WordPress 4.4. So WordPress has had O embeds for quite some time now. You've been able to go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, a number of different sites that uh, have been whitelisted by WordPress and specifically allowed. You can go to those sites, you can grab a URL, and you can paste it into your edit screen and just put it on a new line and you would simply get an embed of that that tweet or that Facebook post or the YouTube video would show up right there for you. So WordPress has had that ability for quite some time now but what's changing in WordPress 4.4 is now any site that follows the O embed protocol can be imported. So it's not just this list of about 25 to 30 or so sites that WordPress had said oh it's okay to do this now any site that supports the, the O embed protocol, you can use and, and uh, embed in your site. What this also means is that WordPress sites themselves can now be embedded within your, your WordPress site. So you can go and copy a URL from another WordPress site, and as long as they hit certain security uh, protocols that have been put in place by O embed, you'll be able to import and embed that content right onto your site. So other WordPress sites can include little snippets now, which is uh, something new and exciting in WordPress 4.4. So what I want to do now is just show you quickly how to use the O embed feature. There's two different ways to do it. They're slightly different. You'll get pretty much the same result, but there are a few small differences, so I want to cover those really quickly. So the first way to embed content in WordPress is simply to paste a URL onto a new line. So here I am on my edit post screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go onto a new line and I'm gonna grab a URL here from WordPress's core blog, paste that onto a new line, and right away you'll see what happens. We've got an embed. And this is what your O embeds will look like um, for other websites that support it. Now let's say I wanted to add a Twitter post. Same thing, I come here, I grab the URL of this exact status on Twitter, come back to my site, paste in that URL, and once again we have the embed that shows up right away. So that's the, the easiest way to do it. There are no options, there's no configuration. You just paste the URL in and you're ready to go. The second way that I want to show you is slightly different. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And here I'm still on a new line in my edit post screen, but this time I'm going to use the add media button. The option I want is not insert media or create gallery, it's going to be down here and it's called insert from URL. So I still have that Twitter URL saved on my clipboard and when I paste that in, once again you'll notice it shows me here's what the embed is going to look like. You simply come down to the bottom and then click insert into posts and there you go. Now, the difference with using this method as opposed to just pasting the URL in a new line is that if I come over here and go to the text tab, I've got the embed shortcode being used here. Now, previously, when I had just pasted the URL, this embed shortcode would not be there. It would still work the same way and it would still show on your website, but the embed shortcode has two parameters that give us a little bit more flexibility there are the width and the height parameters. So if I put in width 1000 and height 500, what this means, these are pixel values. And what this means is that it is a maximum width and a maximum height that this embed will not exceed. It's not going to make it exactly 1000 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. It's still gonna make sure that it's it's big enough to include the embedded content from that site, but if you wanted to max it out at a certain number, you can use these width and height parameters with the embed shortcode. So you can also type in this embed shortcode if you want manually and, and use the same width and height parameters here, but note that they will get added when you use the add media button. So you won't have those same maximum width and heights if you just paste the URL in directly. Um, most times I think you just pasting the URL in directly will work fine for probably 95% of you out there. 
and in most situations, but if you do have some, some situation where you need to restrict the width and the height and make sure that it doesn't exceed a certain amount, then you would use the embed short code and use the width and height parameters that it gives you. So that's just a brief uh, overlook here of O-embeds in WordPress 4.4. If you guys have any questions or are struggling at all with uh, using O-embeds on your site, feel free to leave me a comment and I will answer you as best I can to try to help you out.